hello. Funny thing, isn't it? Oh. Oh, silly me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry about that. Do the most powerful thing with your little finger. Most powerful thing done with your little finger wins. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Do the most powerful thing with your little finger. OK, what's powerful? Dance. <laughs> um, I kind of want some electricity out of it. Creating life. I could take some sp <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to open the door with my little finger. Wow. Does that count? <laughs> I thought um, no one was ever going to beat um, Josh Whittacombe from Series 1 for commitment to this show by having my name tattooed on his foot. And yet... But if you were to impregnate <laughs> yourself... <laughs> Good. Um, I think I think we should really quickly see some stuff. OK. <laughs> well, the first two we've clumped together are Ian and Paul. And I say clumped, and I mean clumped. Here we go. <laughs> You've got an idea? Oh, yeah. I could donate to a charity. Oh, yeah. Pretty powerful. Changes lives. The most powerful thing I could do with a little finger is to just confirm a financial deal. I've got a relatively new computer. Congratulations. I think it might be doing something online that's symbolically powerful or could do a lot of good. This is going to be pretty powerful. I donate to Mind quite a lot. Mind's a good charity. What does do, what do Mind do? It's for a better mental health. Oh. I think I found a really worthy cause, which is Ollie and Henna. Ollie and Henna want to go on honeymoon. They can't get a better cause than that, the path of true love. This is what they've said. America holds many special memories for us from a holiday's past, so they've been before. We're hoping to travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco, mm. walk on the Hollywood stars, bit dull. Sorry, just to check, do you know Holly and Henna? No, I, I'm literally... Uh, all I know about them is um, what I can see on the screen here. Will you be anonymous or will they know it was you? Oh, no, they'll, they'll know it was me. I'm not going to donate to a cause and have them not know that it was me. That's absolutely outrageous. Is this the first time you've donated to Mind? No. And also, this is coming to my current account, not my business account, even though charitable donations are tax deductible. Well, this makes it even more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> only I, right, only I can donate to charity and make it look dickish. Here goes, Ollie and Henna. Are you going to reveal to us how much you're donating? Yes, it's 100 British pounds. Do you know what I'll do? A monthly donation. A monthly donation of how much? Um, let's say eight pounds. <laughs> eight pounds. Monthly donation plus gift aid. Finish. It's been accepted. And if that's not powerful enough, I'm going to karate chop a bit of shortbread. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. I've got to go down into the relevance of how new your computer is. <laughs> well, I just trusted it to do the transaction within 30 minutes. That's because it was relatively new. Because mm. we all know that confirming a financial deal is the most powerful thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ian's is a very worthy thing to do. Yeah. Is, it pa is eight pounds a month powerful? Still, still every month I get a little bing. So what's that? If we presume you're going to live for the next 50 years, feels about right? Scottish 30. <laughs> Um, we're probably looking at about three grand. Powerful. Three grand to charity? I could donate to a charity, like Ian did, and yeah. be a mere drop in the ocean, or I could make some actual positive influence. I thought if they go to the west coast of America, my donation could give them a good night out in a top steak restaurant. Well, of course. A top steak restaurant. <laughs> of course you could buy them a lovely night out in a top steak restaurant. <laughs> but why are we paying for their honeymoon? Uh, there's well, no we about it, it's me. Yeah. I'll, t I'll, I'll tell you who it is. According to his quote, I'm the sinner man from The Chase and I'm a legend when it comes to inexplicable generosity. That's what, <laughs> that's, that's what he wrote. Who's yeah. next? 
Uh, next to prove her pinky power, it's Lou. And that's me ready to go. Okay, this is a powerful piece of theatre and it's called Sea Change. Solution, you have to expect the unexpected. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> the intention was really good. Really it good was very thing. noble. Mm. Yeah. I, if, without explanation, if you saw, you just saw the final finished performance, <laughs> I'm not sure how powerful the statement is. It's theatre. Do you Isn't go it? to the theatre? Yeah, yeah. But if I paid to go to the theatre and I saw a woman. Um, <laughs> push a brick off a barrel into a bowl full of ducks. And babies. And babies. And babies. I'm not sure perhaps I'd have picked up on your powerful message. It was very creative. Next, to power up his pinky, it's a Joe Thomas, which is also a euphemism for a pinky. <laughs> That is how to get an issue across. <laughs> that, I mean, that was more powerful than bricks on the dead ducks. Pleased with that? You've got to be pleased yeah, with that. Yeah, i got to be pleased with that. Yeah, and your walk away was... <laughs> <laughs> ..quite the sachet. It was a striking message, wasn't it? Oh. Oh, that's... A, that's doing well. Oh, dear, oh, dear, that's a shame. That um... is a shame. <clears throat> Let's have a look at Sean's. OK, yes, it's the person with the smallest pinky here, Sean Gibson. Got your little finger. Ready? I'm ready. OK. This is Trevor. Hmm. OK. Wow, it's powerful. It changed colour as well. It's the heat. <laughs> you got a friend? You gonna stay with Uncle Alex? Yes, you are. Okay, well, thank you, Sean. And don't touch him for a while. Still hot? Still hot. <laughs> Taking on all the big issues, aren't we? <laughs> Oh, this round. Creating life. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm surprised you chose a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> Given that the word was powerful, I would have thought you'd go for a more powerful animal, no? What's more powerful than a guinea pig? <laughs> I mean, a dog? <laughs> yes, a uh, horse. Horse? Horse. I couldn't fit it in that tray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, was tra it was tray first. Oh, yeah. tray, tray yeah. first idea yeah. next. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Gibson. <laughs> Ready? Who are you giving points to? I'm giving two points to Lou. Shut up! Yeah, you no, no, no. shut up. You, uh, you shut up. Honestly, that's a mistake. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with it, though. Really? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, um, it's a worthy thing he did, yes? even if he was a bit mean, so I'm going to give him three points. Three actually. to Ian? Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to give Paul three points. You're full of horseshit. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Lou's just saying you're full of horseshit. OK. If she says one more thing, I'm going to take a point off her. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God. The guinea pig, the guinea pig. RSPCA. I don't know if it's shit or good. I don't know if it's <laughs> shit or good. <laughs> Did you think it was powerful? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm going to give it two points. What? Yeah. Oh. I know, I just felt it deep in my gut. Bad, isn't it? Tell you what, though, Joe's was amazing. I'm giving him five points, and that's an end to it all. Yeah. So, John, give five points. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!